Let's say if this brother right here, he's an Israelite. Let's say he goes and he marries a Caucasian woman. Blonde hair, blue eyed Caucasian girl. And he has babies with her, right? And let's say they have the babies. He has a son and a daughter. And his kids are born. The mother's genes are, the, the white girl that he got with, her genes are more dominant. That happens, right? DNA. And his, his, son, and daughter, his son and daughter come out looking like uh, uh, Paris Hilton. His daughter comes out looking like Paris Hilton. <laughs> and his son comes out looking like Justin Bieber. <laughs> right? Which we believe Justin Bieber might be an Israelite. I'm going to get there, right? But anyways, I'm not saying every white person can be saved. All right. Please. Right? But I'm just, we're, we're, we're telling you the truth. This brother, his daughter comes out looking like Paris Hilton, and his son come out looking like Justin Bieber. <laughs> right? What nationality are those kids? I'm asking y'all. Thank you, brother. Why? Thank you. The seed. The seed. The woman was what? Like I said, like the 5% that say she was just the earth. Thank you. She was just a fertilizer, the earth. So those babies are Israelites. So let's say those kids grow up, those are your babies, and then they look white. So they go and they marry white people when they grow up, and then they have kids, but they just... So the line, let's say 100 years down the line, your descendants through your line of your son, not the daughter, well, the daughter, she's a woman. So if she marries a white man or Edomite... But the uh, recessive gene is the white. Dominant gene uh -huh. is black. So if you the dominant have, gene, you said, yes, right? Yes, yes. So you. you You're have, absolutely right. So if you have a black and you have a white, if you put that uh -huh. B, the top with a big B, uh -huh. small B, yeah. too small B, it's impossible. It's always going to be dominant. Yes. It's Why? Always going because to be. because we're the Israelites. We're the chosen people. I'm gonna get scriptures on that. But I'm, I'm gonna finish this analogy. You're right. The analogy is down a hundred years down the line. Your daughter, she's a woman. The woman bears seed. The woman don't bring forth seed. So if your daughter marries an Edomite or a real white person, those babies are not our people. Your son, that line don't change forever. Your son, who looks like Justin Bieber, a hundred years down the line, let's say he marries all white girls and his sons and his sons, a hundred years later, you got this group of so-called white boys walking around, but who is their great, great, great granddaddy? You. So what does that make them? Israelites. Shalom, let give our honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstones, salutations to you, sincere Aki, and pushing this word out across the four corners of the earth. And this lesson is going into confusion of faith as it is this day. And you're going to see after this video, Eddie Griffin was doing an old stand up comedy show, and he was going into Bruce Lee, you know. So this video is going to pretty much explain it, where I'm coming from, and I hope it'll be edifying. So this is Ezra 9 and 6. And said, O my power, I am ashamed and blush to lift up my face to thee, my power. For our iniquities are increased over our head, and our trespass is grown up unto the heavens. So this is the children of Israel crying to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Our wrongdoings that we was doing in the ancient world, we still doing this daytime now. So we're doing a lot of wickedness as a people. So we cry for forgiveness. Verse 7. Since the days of our fathers have we been in a great trespass unto this day. And for our iniquities have we, our kings and our priests, been delivered into the hand of the king of the lands, to the sword, to captivity, and to a spoil, and to confusion of face as it is this day. So all of our wrongdoings, our sins, our trespasses against Yahweh Bashir Abu Shai, one of the main curses he put on our people, he was going to scatter us across the four corners of the earth. And I did a video not too long ago going into how the Most High said he was going to toss thee like a ball into a large country. And due to that fact, our people was going to dwell in those lands where we were scattered to and we was going to start sleeping with the other nations. Therefore, during the process of time, we was going to start looking like the other nations. It only made sense. 
And I remember I woke up to the truth in like September 2011. And I remember the apostles was doing a sit down show and they were saying how Bruce Lee is an Israelite. And I was like, huh? You know, I thought that to myself. Then like a few seconds later, it dawned on me like that made sense because I remember having that natural attraction to Bruce Lee. And I remember like a lot of other Jake having that natural attraction to Bruce Lee. You know, it's a spiritual thing. And only the spiritual mind or spiritual minded can understand that spiritual parable with the apostles and the elders said at that time frame. So it makes a lot of sense now. So we was going to be scattered across the four corners of the earth. And while we was there, you know, we was going to be sleeping with the other women of the other nations. And we we're going to have children by the women of the nations. Therefore, down through the generations and different generations and lineages, we was going to start looking like the other nations. I mean, it's common sense. You just really just think about it, you know. All right, so this is Jeremiah 9. I'm going to start at verse 15. Therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, the power of Israel, behold, I will feed them, even this people with wormwood, and give them water or gall to drink. Verse 16. I will scatter them also among the heathen, whom neither they nor their fathers have known, and I will send a sword after them till I have consumed them. So there you go right there again. He scattered us. And it says in Ezekiel 34th chapter, how when Yahushua comes back, he's going to scatter, he's going to deliver his sheep that's been scattered all across the four corners of the earth, roughly paraphrasing. So that was part of our curses, right? There was going to be scattered across the four corners of the earth, and we was going to start looking like the other nations. You know, in the scriptures as confusion of faces. So this is Romans 8, verse 16. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. In this video, you're going to see coming up how Eddie Griffin, how he said, you know, pretty much he had like a admiration for Bruce Lee. And you can tell by the crowd, it was number Jake really in the crowd, and they felt the same way. So it's a spiritual thing when the apostles and elders said that, you know, it makes a lot of sense. So... I hope you all were edified, like give all the glory again to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar Kodash, double unto our apostles and elders of great millstone, salutations to you sincere brothers. Shalom. That Bruce Lee was a bad motherfucker. Five foot seven, 140 pounds, dynamite. You understand me? That motherfucker in the movie, you seen that motherfucker, he walk in the dojo. 300 motherfuckers. Bruce walk in, nigga. And you know, I love that nigga walk, nigga. He had a little walk. Oh, he was a chigger. A chigger, a Chinese nigga. That little motherfucker had some nigga in him, nigga. We can fight one at a time, all together. Well, we fight alone, or all together. If you sitting in that dojo, you gotta ask yourself two questions. Either he got a bomb on his ass, or he's really a bad motherfucker. Neither one of them are good. And remember the motherfucking teachers, I was like, Wang, Tang, we ain't Wang, Hang. They run out there and get killed, nigga. It'll just take me to show you.
he go with the second set? Bang, ching, ching, chong, bang, wong, long. Nigga, if I'm in that second set, I'd have been like, hey, hey, hold the fuck up. <laughs> then was your black belts. My shit is orange. <laughs> you the teacher, teach. <laughs> now, if you whoop his ass, I'll keep taking your class. If not, I'm about to study with that motherfucker. I'm Eddie Griffin. Y'all been wonderful. Good night, old man.